Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller and today we're going to practice uh, playing with and understanding how the symmetry tool works. In my previous tutorial we created a building with lots of windows in it and after all the work that we did and all the time that we spent we had only affected one half or one side of the building. The other building still requires work. Now we can spend the time and put in the effort and duplicate on the back side all that we did along the front side but as they say that is really reinventing the wheel. Why duplicate your work twice if you've already done it once? So I'm going to get rid of these and start with a clean screen and I'll show you an easy way to get rid uh, to uh, duplicate your modeling and it will literally cut your workload down uh, by 50 percent depending upon of course what it is that you are creating and uh, the method about which you're going uh, to create it so um, like what we did in the building tutorial here's my building and before we can begin modifying it need to come up here to the free tessellate command and click on tessellation by slice what I want to do effectively is like grab a big knife and cut this thing all the way down the middle all the way around and to do that quite easily just use your tessellate tool tessellate by slice I'm gonna hold down the shift key click once and it divides the entire object right down the middle it gives me a nice seam. I'm going to select those faces of the back half and I'm just going to delete them leaving us with half of our object and essentially um, a, like a box top which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to create the windows very briefly that we're going to use to cut into our object. I'm not going to go into great explanation here on how I'm creating them I will I will presume that you have seen the other tutorial on creating windows if you haven't you may want to um, go and view that first if I'm working too fast here or not explaining things very well on making the windows that's not the uh, function of this I'm gonna create a copy of that create a copy of that create a copy of that okay we've got our windows lined up across the face of our building. I'm going to select them, bully and cut them into our building and that's what we've got. Now if we use the same method as we did on the tutorial we would have to remodel the back of the building and create all these windows and uh, that is reinventing the wheel except we can come up here and click on our symmetry tool which is under the vertex modeling tab. I'm going to click on symmetry tool. Now it's going to want us to, un it, we have to understand how it's going to expect us to arrange it. We have to essentially know what language it's speaking. And if you look at over here in the uh, properties tab, uh, we can create a duplicate of this object along the plus x, minus x, plus y, minus y plus z minus z axis. In order to understand where we want it to be arranged, let's look down here at our uh, modeling axis, our world axis, and we see that up and down is always y, left and right is x. Well, we don't want to create a copy on the left or right side. We don't want to create it up on top of this or underneath it. We don't, we want to focus on our z axis. and if we click the plus Z that's going to create it a clone coming towards us and we don't want that we want it behind on the minus Z and there is a perfect clone of the half of the model that we had worked so hard for yeah all of about 30 seconds so by just that one little tool it uh, cut our work time down literally in half and I'm just gonna select control A select both of those objects weld them together now if you plan on doing some modifying further modifying of your model these lines here 
these edges that were created by joining the two halves together may get in your way so feel free to get rid of them by doing so and to do that just simply select them don't hit your delete key this is what happens if you hit your delete key you want to hit your backspace key by hitting your backspace key you delete the vertices but you don't delete the faces and uh, you only need to do that once or twice before you realize I don't want to do that again and that is the symmetry tool it's very fast very easy very efficient way to in many as in many instances cut down your modeling time in half if you go to modeling sites and see what some high profile professionals do and how they model they always model uh, especially like automobiles and buildings uh, by using a a symmetry type tool uh, you know based upon the um, piece of software that they're using and uh, it's very it's very fast it's very efficient way you only have to model half of your object and let the tool finish the work for you so that's all I got for you today thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios my name is Gary Miller have a good day